Hi, I am Pratul and this is Pratik. Okay. We are working on the Haskeek Android application. Right. Unrelated to JS4, but that's how we do it. Okay. So, where, where are you guys with the Android app? We are at the blank page okay. after which everything starts. Have you looked at any other event apps? We have and we dislike quite a few of them. Okay. And therefore we are trying to build something that we don't dislike. It looks pretty and looks pretty and hopefully makes people happy. Uh, thanks. Gave us, gave us the horrifying reality of what it will be if if Somebody someone actually does something like so. that. Exactly. Yeah. That is potentially the most dangerous thing that you can ever think of. <laughs> it's it's not a laughing matter. We, 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 we are, we are now I'm curious. What is this about? Yeah. <laughs> Smile. So, yeah, that is something that we were going to So that is why we have stopped it where it was thought experiment. And also because our our designer threatened to uh, beat us over the head with a baseball bat which he had recently bought from a trip from the So that, uh, that, that also was a very... Uh, so so they are they're actually marking... Uh, uh, they are marking uh, hot chicks on a map. We are not marking hot chicks on a map. It was a thought experiment. And there there is a very good reason why we are doing it. Trust me. I'm Ram. Uh, I'm Shashi. Harish here. Okay. So, what you're working with is actually a visualization tool. Uh, so, we're actually going to use something called Recline.js. So, Recline.js is a tool that connects any backend, like MongoDB or uh, CouchDB or a lot of other things, and tries to get the data and provide a visualization for you. Uh, right now, uh, backend is not available for MongoDB. We're trying to write a backend for MongoDB. Uh, there are actually two parts in uh, this client or JS. One is the backend, which is the data source that has to be connected to, and the other is the visualization part. So there are some default visualization that is provided, like uh, line chart, bar chart. So you can create your own visualization if you want. Uh, so we are actually working on creating the uh, backend. So yeah, this is the same idea. So I'm going to take care of I mean, probably the backend MongoDB part uh, and hook it up. Yeah. Uh, same same idea in as in like the visualization bit. Uh, but I'm actually exploring a different library called D3.js, uh, and I'm just trying to learn and see how we can use it for uh, visualization. So, yeah, I'm just exploring that bit first for now. Sorry. Thanks a lot. Okay. Hi, I'm Pranil. I'm I'm currently working for a company called My Pariche. I'm basically leading the technology side of it. I'm here today to uh, build a social profile importer. Uh, what I'm trying to do is, uh, given a name, try to fetch all the social, uh, all the publicly available data about that particular person uh, across all social network platforms, uh, networking platforms, using whatever available APIs are there. So I'm still in the process of figuring out uh, what are the APIs providing and how I can uh, uh, gather all that data. So hopefully I should be uh, able to figure that out in a couple of hours and then start coding towards the bookmarklet. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Okay, go. Hi, this is Sophie. Uh, this is Puran and uh, So we are working on an idea like uh, we want to create a social ecosystem for uh, sharing the movies you like and your friends like and they can even recommend you you know some of the movies which they like so that kind of uh, framework or uh, ecosystem we want to build and we are uh, you, we are trying to use node.js and uh, uh, express framework and uh, maybe twitter bootstrap and uh, yeah cows db yeah, so i am basically working on the backend part node.js and cows db yeah, actually, I'm just uh, trying to use uh, some public API so I can just uh, get a data from there and then we can build whatever we are just trying to build in UI site. So basically, I'm handling the UI part. So, whatever uh, data I'm getting in the JSON format, I have to convert that into UI using Bootstrap or Bootstrap. That's the idea. Thank you. Yeah.